Welcome to the review of Inform Jeffrey Majangi Beer. Uh, he plays for Standard Liège in the Belgian Pro League. He's now switched from a right midfield to a left mid. He's got a medium attacking work rate, a low defensive work rate. He's got the four star skill moves and the four star weak foot. And his traits are injury prone, flirt and long shot. So looking at his in games, he's got very decent physical stats for a 71 silver. And his standouts are his acceleration, his balance, long shots and his shot power. You can always pause the video now for a closer look. We've included the gains from his non-inform as well. So this is the team we used Majanga Beer in. We used the mainly silver 352 Pro League team with Kiati and Proto thrown in for good measure. And it's a really good team if you want to try it. Pro League has always been one of my favourites. Got a lot of real quality players to choose from as well. So now we get on to how I felt about Majangi Beer. Now I have used his non-inform quite extensively and the inform does improve on some of his weaknesses. It doesn't feel quite as clunky as the non-inform and the pace feels pretty much the same. He's not electric but he is fast enough to play out wide or on the wing. And I really enjoyed using him going back to Pro League again. And he's a big plus with his 4 star skills and his 4 star weak foot. So he can always create gaps with his 4 star skill. He can cut in, finish on his dominant foot. But he can also finish on his left as well with his 4 star weak foot which is a big bonus. His crossing is pretty decent along with his free kicks as well. So you can get him on the corners and put him on set pieces if you wish. He was the best set piece taker in the, the team I used. So like we said his dribbling is improved along with his reactions. He's got a better first touch as well. He does beat a few defenders in the clips as you see, but he might struggle if you come up against the higher rated goal defenders. He is quite good, not amazing on dribbling, but he can get by. His 4 star skills do help him a lot. He does have poor defensive stats though, and combined with a low defensive work rate, it's not too good. So if, say, like me, you used him in a 3-5-2 or a 4-2-3-1, Put your dominant defensive CDM on the left hand side with your Majangi Beer as he did get down the wing quite a lot. But obviously that will leave gaps in behind him. His passing game is okay as well. He managed well with a 1-2 passing, not too many misplaced passes. So would be a decent choice at left midfield or left wing depending on your formation preference obviously. But he did work a treat in this 3-5-2 Pro League team. I'd highly recommend you giving it a go. It doesn't cost too much. You can always make, there will be some alternatives to Majangi Beer on the left as well. So now we're going to move on to his game stats. So we played 10 games with Majangi Beer and we managed to score 8 goals. Which is a great return from left midfield. All his game stats are down there on the left. Goals scored are on the right. And goal positions are in the bottom right corner as well. You can pause the video for a closer look at those if you'd like to. Of course, we've got a few alternatives to Majangi Beer in the Pro League. On the left, we've got uh, Mpoku, El Ganassi, Joseph Monroe, Suarez and Lestien. All which can be got for under 1,000, even under 500 coins on a few. So uh, my recommendations out of them will be Mpoku and Suarez of my personal favourites. So finally moving on to his positives and negatives, uh, his positives are his 4 star weak foot, he's got his 4 star skills, he's got great physical stats for a silver player, his shot power and long shots as well. His negatives are unfortunately his price still around about 60 to 70 k on both systems uh, and obviously weak defensive stats and low defensive work rate. So is it really worth it? I'd say not really. In an ideal FIFA world it'd be around 10k and it'd be worth a stab but you can get other decent players to do the same job for around 400 to 500 coins so he's not really worth shelling out on. So overall we're going to give Majangi Beer an 8.5 out of 10. He's a great little player but not enough value to justify the coins for me unfortunately. Even though he was great for me I could get similar results with the other recommendations that I showed you in the video. So thanks a lot for watching. This is my first video in a while. I had to take a little break from making videos for personal reasons. But coming back warming up for FIFA 15. Trying to do the most in-depth videos that I can. So if you do enjoy the videos, please subscribe and share around. And thanks a lot for watching lads. Peace.